Hello, World of Chaos. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed 2. Um, last time we spent the entire time upgrading the village, and I ended up having to play it in mostly silence thanks to, um, well, I've mentioned it in the last episode, so, yeah. Now we can get these chests, which can only be accessed after um, getting a specific upgrade. There's also the one over um, at the soldier building, and then eventually when we unlock the brothel, that there as well. But now we'll have thieves and soldiers wandering around as well, and eventually we will have, um... Well, yeah. Also, with the, um... Auditorio Family team that is there. Um, I'm honestly worried that I won't be able to access it because it requires you play. <coughs> Which, you know, kind of went down, down, like they shut down the servers like years ago. So... I honestly don't think I will ever gain access to it. I mean, I still have the Switch version, thankfully. Um, but I don't. Like loading that up to play, like I just simply recording on the Switch will be a thing. Buongiorno. Salute, Ser Ezio. Shall we take a look at the list? Okay, last of the... The bank's interesting. But anyway, we are going to renovate the brothel. So we can access those chests as well later. On the way out. <sighs> it's your my boy. I think it's time I showed you something. This is the sanctuary. It was built by my great-grandfather to honor the memory of the Assassin Order and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the Assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but its yeah, armor is light and very strong. I'd give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia, hidden tombs filled with treasure, where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. Yeah. In my younger days, I sought the six myself, with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. 
Yeah, basically around the place there's tombs we In can order to achieve raid perfect them. Synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. Yeah. So Ghoul and Quell. Male Mongolian. He was the dude who shot Genghis Khan apparently. This is Darius, who killed Xerxes. Ah, I'm pretty sure that Assassin's Creed Odyssey has a DLC where you follow this dude's story here. Like the first hidden blade, which is interesting. Male Chinese, he was a spear to kill the first emperor, Quan Chi Hang. This is Amunet. She killed Cleopatra and so made it look like a suicide of the snake. A Babylonian who. This is the Babylonian who po poisoned Alexander the Great. And. Leonon Leonis, the male Roman assassin. This is the dude that murdered Caligula. And then you know, out of here, we know what he did. So we'll be heading on off to um Well I do hope that it just open that the um thing will just open later because apparently it's like sequence five or six that you are meant to um be able to access it. So hopefully the game will register that I have it at that point and actually open the crypt for us. But basically it talks it's his it's a bunch of plaques by his great great grandfather talking about um moving to Italy, basically and I'm pretty sure it is what reveals that he, Al, Al, Ezio is a descendant of Altair. Um Basically, they moved to Italy after something happened. Looking at this, oh, it's on the other side. Yeah, I'm not going to get that right this second. I will come, actually, if I get off horse, it'll be a lot quicker to... Um, yeah, I'll quickly get it with the horse, then head on out to the city to um, Forenza again. Yeah, by the time this comes out, it'll only be like a couple of days for Christmas, won't it? By the time um, this comes out, like a lot of time will have passed, so a comment will probably be made on something I said, and I'll probably regret myself regret um, revealing that. Anyway.
back to Florence. Ooh, just straight to Da Vinci. Nice. But we do also gain access to this point of this part of the city, which will be nice as well. Ezio, you are still alive. Look at this place. The past two years have been kind to you. But you are not the same at all, are you? I was hoping you might be able to help me with something. Anything for you, my friend. Ha ha! You found another one! How exciting! Hmm. This one is tricky to break. Clever in its use of ancient languages. Maybe if... <laughs> and just him talking. Oh, it seems to be a manual of sorts for different assassination techniques. May I see it? Wait, what's that? It's not so much a design this time, just a series of sketches. Hmm, what to make of all this? <laughs> of course, and why not? What an inspired idea. Can you make it for me while I try what's in that manual fragment? Take it. I'll have my assistant set up some dummies for you to practice with. Hey, Vincenzo! Ah, the Oh, actually being able to assassinate death from above and assassinate. <gasps> yes. Okay, we're finally learning like death from above, from above assassination, pulling people over the balconies, and oh, this would be great. So obviously, Altair figured this out a long time after the game. But I love how chill, um... I love how chill... Leonardo is about just... His... He's basically... So, a close friend just is like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna murder these people. It's about assassination. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, being able to do death from above and stuff it. will be great. Come quickly, look. Death from above will be amazing. Take it, try it. Thank you, Leonardo. Non c'è di che. Is he the There's someone I need to see while I'm here. I cannot approach him publicly. Would you know a way? La Volpe. A fox? Shh. A pisco. But do you know where a fox might roam? Perhaps near the Mercato, where the thieves dwell. Sta attento, amico. Okay. Oh, and now I have twin blades. Nice. And the hidden blade is a little bit stronger in general now, which is also nice. Ooh, the um That's another map. I'm kind of avoiding buying lots of stuff until I can get the um Until I can basically max out the level at 
the at um, the villa and then it'll be a lot cheaper to get the stuff anyway Guys, you can see that. Oh, there's a okay. There's something up here, I think it's just a, um... It's not exactly what I'm looking for right this second, but it is something that I will get. Ah, oh, there it is. There's the thing I'm looking for. Looks like a monkey. mostly heroes. See how the lineage is disrupted? The web of history traps the good, and the evil take what is not theirs. Oh, brothers, like, I think, is this Cain and Abel? Oh. And, yeah. Can enable. I believe I see it, yeah. And guess I truly are. Yeah. This place is saying can enable port over here. Uh, this will be a little bit annoying. Behold, the mark of Cain. Oh, and they're saying that Cain is basically Templar. Okay.
Anyway, here's a feather. Wait, okay, so it's that. Is that far enough up for me? Yes, it is. Nice. So there's a bunch of, um, there's a bunch of stuff just lying around here, which is a little annoying, but... Stealing services for all the gods I have to stop, interrupt my day to deal with a picture... Okay, what did I do? I stepped away and then you... I mean, the great thing about whenever I go to it, these cities is I'm going to get, be getting quite a bit of cash from just, you know, doing stuff all around the place. Been a little broken. So I'm going to have to visit a blacksmith to get it repaired. Notorious. 
prepare everything here. But I'm not going to be getting, like, the, the next bit of armor without going to, um... I'll just count it again. These drawing things. Okay. Oh, oh, Leonardo, duh. Took me a second to realize. Hey, what does the L mean? We have cash in the village, in the village chest. Once it gets to like 10, 12,000, I'm probably going to head back to the villa. You know, they're obviously not very good thieves, so they're sitting right next to the, um, to some treasure they could easily steal, and then, you know, not. But then again, um, are they really just thieves? He takes the values most dear to <clears throat> Yeah, it was probably a way it is definitely a waste of cash to um bribe that dude, but I kinda of just wanted to Well, 
fast. Damn! I won't go back in a cell! Wait, that dude tried to steal for me? Oh. Well, obviously it didn't work. I mean, I just tackled him and got my cash as well as him. But seriously, the nerve of some people. Guards, help me! Stay back! Men who require bleeding! Oh, there's a feather up there. Let's go. Okay. Now after this, it'll be heading down to here. And there's a codex page through that building over there. Oh, I do not have any. Oh, I don't think I have any. Um. I don't think I have any medicine. Sissy, you just watch me murder your entire um, squad and then you're like, oh yeah, I think it's fine. I, I can take him. Heal now. I'm also going to take all the medicine I can. I have done. I'm sorry. <laughs> you I'll look go. stronger already. I wonder if it's not actually, you know, doing anything, but it's more, um... Oh, 
like the, I think it's called the placebo effect. I think they were talking about me. Yeah, I probably should start wandering around Tuscany to get the stuff there, but I'll do it later once I've dealt with all the stuff in the, this rough area. Okay. Then it'll be down here we need to go. I think I'll get up the chests and the sink point to finish off the episode. Seriously, who's just leaving these chests of cash all around the place? Not that I'm complaining. I'm just curious. Great how lucky we are that no one decides to move these crates or, or these um things full of stuff. No yeah, I'm dead. Guys. 
I don't believe that's all the chests we have. Yeah, we can see. Oh, there's a race over here. We'll do the race some other time, I guess. We pride ourselves on delivering good quality at fair price. Yeah, I'm sprinting all the way over to do that race I don't really have the time for. Unless I, we start the episode doing the race. I'm just going to run through the city to get to... Where did he go? There. I'm going to try to chase this dude down for the extra bit of cash. Yeah, killing one of them would automatically max out my um, wanted level. So yeah, thank you for watching and I shall see you all next time where we are going to start off with the race that is somewhere-ish around here. Um, it's in particular, it is... 
little bit further up. Okay. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I shall see you then. Goodbye. <laughs>